Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. This is Catherine from the Twin Flame Mystique 1111. I want to talk to y'all a little bit about all of these ascension symptoms that we've been feeling. Now, my Twin Flame and I, Tanya, we've been going through all of these ascension symptoms just like y'all have, you know, it's a collective consciousness that we are in. And I'm recording this from our patio. We live out here on, on an island and I can hear the beach, hear the, the waves. Sometimes, and sometimes I can hear the silence of being by the water. And those of you that live by large body of water, you know what I mean. And it's during those times of silence that you want to be listening, that you want to listen the most during those times because that's when Gaia our earth has quiet quieted down around you so that you can hear what the breeze is trying to say that you can feel what she's trying to say. And I'll tell you what, here lately, she's been talking, been saying quite a bit. We have been, as a planet and its inhabitants, as starseed, as the collective consciousness that we are, we've been experiencing an array of symptoms. And these symptoms are having to do with the energy that we have been blasted with. We've been blasted with the energy of ascension. And we are currently still in a 19 hour blackout. Now what that means is, for those of you that aren't aware of the Schumann Resonance, Schumann Resonance is the heartbeat of this planet, heartbeat of Gaia. It is the frequency of the planet. And as that frequency rises, or it drops, we are affected because it carries the same base frequency of our star seed heart chakra energy frequency. This is how we are connected to this planet. This is why we're affected and we feel it in our bodies when there are ascension energies or when the weather is changing, right? And for those of y'all that just heard what I just said, I hope you got that message there in between the lines. For those of you that didn't, I'll explain it. And it has to do with we are a collective consciousness, and our consciousness is what lights up this energetic grid around the planet. Each one of us holds a 
holds a spot in it, holds a light in it. As light workers, we are strategically placed all over this beautiful planet to share our inner knowing. And that inner knowing comes from an awakened awareness within us. And this happens during enlightenment. And when you're woke, your light, your light bulb in this grid turns on. Turns on bright. And now you can be seen in the dark. And this is whenever the, you know, the true fun begins, I should say. I'm not being sarcastic because in enlightenment, you go through what's called dark nights of the soul. For those of you that aren't knowing, dark nights of the soul are times in our lives when we are being triggered to, to wake up, wake up out of our dream state. And our dream state is, our dream state is how our eyes, our eyes of the soul have been closed to our true purpose, to knowing our divinity, to our connection consciously to what our true purpose is here, what this human experience is all about. Now, with these blackouts that have been happening, that means that we are being blasted, our planet, and since we are connected to our planet, we are part, part of the planet, part of Gaia. We resonate with Gaia, so whatever's happening to her is happening to us. And depending on how woke you are is how bad you're going to feel it or how much gratitude you're going to have for it, whether it hurts or not. That's how you can pick the enlightened person. That's how you can pick the woke person, the one that is knowing what's happening. And with time, through their enlightenment, through their wisdom and their inner knowing, are not so vocal anymore about the symptoms in their bodies and so on. Just smile, you know, and, and and try and soothe our aches and pains, our headaches, our sore throats, our our anxieties, our depressions, our <sighs> pains in our hearts as our heart chakras are being blasted wide open so that we can have that compassion for one another in our awakening. The enlightened wise old soul will just take it with a grain of salt, you know? Which are you? Where are you? Because that's what these blackouts are all about with the Shaman resonance. It means that we are being blasted with energy that is so high that our technology, our 3D technology, 
um, is also being affected. And take that as a sign. I know people around me are always laughing about how I say, no, that's a sign. And that's a sign. Yep, that's a sign. And you know what? This is how our inner guidance, which is, since we are starseed origin, that is our soul center. That is our, that's our soul origin to this human experience, to all the human experiences that we live lifetime after lifetime, right? Graduating from each one and hoping that you, uh, you became woke at some point in some past life that you were able to, you know, keep these DNA downloads that we're being blasted with right now. Because when you, you keep them, they leave a marker in your crystalline light body. And those DNA downloads you are able to take with you to the next human experience. So, we are being blasted with downloads of ascension knowledge. We're being woke woken up to our memories of our soul origin, of our starseed origin, because they have something to say. There's a message. All these signs, if you are seeing the numbers you know, 11-11, or it's always 12-12, or it's 2-22, or you're seen in a license plate, you know, 1-7-7-7, or 2-2-2-2, or any repetitive numbers, any sequence of repetitive numbers that you keep seeing, those are all DNA awakening light codes and numbers. That is the language universal language, right, of our star seed origins. It's how they are communicating with us, so it is a sign. What are they trying to say? What do they want you to know? Well, look it up. Look it up. Let's say you Google it or you get on YouTube and you're looking for why you're seeing these numbers repetitively right? Some people call them angel numbers. Some people call them, you know, the ascension numbers or the enlightened code. All the same thing. It's just our, it's their way of our guides, right? It's their way of conveying to us what we are needing to know for our own personal ascension. And I'll tell you, if you've ever experimented with that, looking up these numbers, it always seems to make sense, doesn't it? It always seems to, to uh, fit the situations that you are going through presently in your life at that time. Just like for those that of you that go to listen to a preacher or a priest speak on your days of worship. That message always seems to be talking to you. Because it is. If you recognize it as such. It is. It is. They speak to us through our music through our pets because they vibe very high. They are unconditional. They are our soulmates, our guides. 
They teach us compassion. They teach us love. They teach us humility. So, back to these symptoms. In a blackout, the, the frequencies, the energies are too high to be read by man-made 3D um, technology. We recently, last week, Thursday, Friday, around that time, Wednesday, we experienced a blackout last week also. That blackout lasted 33 hours. So for 33 hours, people were having symptoms, thinking that they were dying. And some of us did transition over to the next human experience because these blackouts come in pushing us hard to find out the reason to investigate what's happening to me why am I having these migraines am I sick See, that's the 3D. The first thing we need, I'm sick. I got to go to the doctor, right? Doctor's not going to know any more than you do about your body, honey. That's why a lot of us light workers, we go into holistic medicine instead. Because in holistic medicine, you are grounding, you're meditating, you are using kundalini breaths you're you're going deep within and channeling what your body is feeling and how to take care of it and you can help it naturally this is how the human body was made it, it was made to regenerate itself holistically this goes way back to our starseed ancestors and the reason why we were needing to cure our bodies naturally is because when you do that you're doing it with what our planet with what Gaia is gifting to us through her plant medicine okay through the trees through her oceans her streams her rivers and creeks we are self-sustaining through this planet everything else is toxin to your body Remember that. This is why we become so affected with taking medications and vaccines that are not meant to be in your body, honey. They're not meant to. They're not. It's taken me a long time to get there holistically as well, but we're doing it. We're doing it, and we're noticing the difference in our bodies. We're noticing it. You know, we have this little tub of, you know, our medication tub because, you know, we old, honey. So we have arthritis and surgeries and so on from our past. But I'll tell you what. I can't remember the last time I had to touch a Motrin, a muscle relaxer, any of that. I do it holistically. Even my blood pressure medication. So, these ascension energies that we are being blasted with 
are playing hardball. They are trying to blast us into a higher knowing from a higher love. Collectively, which is why so many of us are all feeling a lot of the same things. And these symptoms go from migraines, right? That's the crown chakra. If you're getting headaches, cover your head, even if you're not, cover your head. Cover with a beanie, a scarf, or what have you, because that is going to create a little bit of a barrier there, you know, penetration. Also, because these are some heavy energies, these are some strong energies. This is 5D unity, consciousness, ascension, energy. We are having issues with our eyesight, our foreheads are hurting, and that is also your third eye chakra. That's your clarity. That's your clarity to see through. Um, through 3D malarkey. And if you're having throat issues, right? Some of us are losing our voices, having a lot of post-nasal drip, you know? And those of us that know, that are enlightened, that we know what's happening, right? That's your throat chakra that's being cleansed and activated, right? Your throat chakra is your authenticity. It's about you meaning what you say and say what you mean. And sticking to it. There are some of us that are having, feel like we're having a heart attack or a little stroke. We're feeling heart palpitations, right? Or we're having issues with our blood pressure. Or, you know, it's going up or it's coming down because we're having chills and we're having, you know, hot sweats and... And those that are still in the 3D are, are freaking out because they're thinking they're having, you know, that they're sick. Yes, honey, you are a little sick. But it's an energetic. It's an energetic sickness in a way. It just means that you're needing to align to these frequencies ground so that the intensity isn't so much the intensity that you feel in your body is some resistance that you're having to healing those perceptions that you are still stuck to of the 3D human experience. You know, the 3D human experience is all about you playing your role. And once that role is done, then you become woke. Okay? And when you become woke, you're knowing that Everything that happened to you in your past is now a past life. And everything that happened to you happened for you and no longer to you. And when you woke, you're woke, you know that you are in a state of enlightenment that helps you see through all of that and have compassion for those that you are aware of, that you are knowing that are not meant to wake up in this lifetime. And how do you deal with that? 
you've got to have compassion for them. And in enlightenment terms, compassion means for you to have empathy for them. Okay? And forgive. You've got to forgive yourself. And you've got to forgive them. It doesn't mean you be a doormat and go right back to that stupidity. Because when you're enlightened, you go back to it, then that's what that is. It's shame on you. Nobody else. Compassion means to know that we're all here playing our own part. We all carry our own piece of this puzzle. And in a collective consciousness, we're all paying it forward for each other. You get that? That's what we're doing. It doesn't mean you're a doormat. That's what you're waking up from. And when our eyes are closed, living this human experience, we are living through a survival mode. You are not in your free will until you are woke. Because through a survival mode, you are acting and reacting to each other. That's it. That's it. And you are playing a part that when your part is done, right, it needs to be done because that's whenever your experiences are able to be paid forward to the next one. Your experiences are able to be um, be data logged into the collective consciousness uh, main data frame. I'm not technical, so pardon my <laughs> explanation of this. But yes, it's like that. So once it's you know, able to be downloaded as data for your human experience, then guess what? The next person that is trying to wake up going through their dark night of the soul is looking into their own superhuman computer, looking for that information, looking for that data, for that little help. How do I get through this? I need an answer. I need an example. How do I get through this dark night of the soul? Because I don't know if I can take any more. You get it now? This is why you meet resistance. Let it go. Let it go. Because that just means that there is someone out there another light worker out there struggling struggling to make sense of what's happening in their lives and they're just wanting an answer they're wanting that help now the 3d human experience is you living life through fear because that's what social conditioning teaches you expectations failure and fear that's it that's all and it's done through a selfishness and there's no room for that in enlightenment no room. So, might as well just ease up 
these ascension symptoms in your body. Okay, and just drink the Kool-Aid, just do it. I like mine with the extra sugar, you know. I have a sweet tooth, especially through these ascension symptoms. There are symptoms that also affect your tummy, right? We start purging. For some of us that are like, I don't know why I have this diarrhea. It must be a stomach flu or stomach bug or whatever. No. Every symptom that you are having in your body in times like this can be tied to a chakra, to an energy center for release. It's come up for release. What you going to do? Right? What you going to do? Meditate. Do something relaxing. Go for a walk, if you can, weather permitting. Sit outside. Try not to ground, though, because there is an intensity there that, you know, you don't want to amplify it. We need to allow our planet, we need to allow Gaia to mellow out to balance out in order to balance you or to help you balance. Just stay high vibe. Try and stay high vibe. In other words, stay away from negative people. Stay with a more like-minded tribe. Uh, take a break from social media. Because that's all, you know, it's all about keeping up with the Joneses. And that's all 3D ego crap. But some of us have to be on there, you know, if we have our businesses because we're enlightened. And, and we're trying to attract people over to, to learn about enlightenment. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Y'all out there that are having, uh, you know, that are life coaches that are ascension guides that are reiki master that are shaman that are just of the light that are making products that are organic in nature because that's helping you be self-sufficient There's a patience that we have to give to those around us that are not enlightened. And at the same time, it doesn't mean that we need to stand in a soapbox, you know, and blast it out. That message will come out and reach whoever it is needing to reach in their own divine timing, in your own divine timing. You'll know when. You'll have that feeling. It'll just be irresistible. And then you then you let the cat out of the bag. And here's your test. Because we are always triggered. We're always triggered with the human experience of those that are not meant to enlighten in this one. Or maybe ever. Just meant to be triggers. That's where our compassion needs to step in. Our unconditionality needs to step in. That's where when you are enlightened and when you are woke, you become the guide. Do you get that? You become the guide. No matter what your human experience because that's the lesson. How are you waking up from it? Hmm? That's the lesson. Right? And there are those triggers that affect our lower chakras. And from our heart chakra down, those chakras are what ground us to the 
human experience that we are happy. Our upper chakras from our hearts up are the ones that are our connection to our soul source divinity, to our starseed origins, to who we truly are, right? So now those symptoms that happen, you know, below the waistline, those are connected to first, you know, after your heart chakra, you have your solar plexus. That is having to do with who you are. That's your I am, you know, who am I and why? And how can I get there or how can I not get there? <laughs> That's up to you. That's up to you. And then that neck chakra, people are having symptoms there. That's the sacral chakra. That is where you carry in that area the, uh, the organs that are having to do with you either being a female or a male in this lifetime because you switch back and forth. Start having breakthrough bleeding and cramping or, or harder menstrual cycles than usual or, you know, you're having issues reproducing. Um, you know, you're having bladder issues or you are needing to release a lot of stuck emotions from past relationships or the lack of bonding. That's where it affects you. And then you have your root chakra, your base chakra. That is your foundation. Okay? Every one of the, and your, your, your foundation chakra, I don't want to miss that one though. That is very important. Okay, that's where you put your roots down. That is where you balance this human experience with or without your enlightenment. You also have a self-love and self-worth there that's connected, not just from your heart chakra, but there as well. Then you have chakras that are, well, you have chakras all over your body and way above and way below into Gaia. This is why we ground. So this is what's happening with you. Now, I'm not saying don't go see a doctor. Hey, your faith is there. All right, I'm sure they can find something wrong with you. Do you get that too? Where's your faith? Where's your trust? Where's your belief system? Right? Because there isn't someone just sitting up there in some throne waiting for you to show up. You're it. There isn't, um, you know, Silver City up there in the heavens. Heaven's right here. So is hell. It's up to you what you want to make of it. And your perception of that is going to affect you in your ascension symptoms. <clears throat> how hard do you want them? Right? Or how light do you want them? Sometimes we can't escape these symptoms. And the enlightened one knows this. So this is why we will just quietly go about our day. Do a, have some kind of a organic remedy to it. 
along with some organic detoxing of our energy. Along with prayer, meditation, and whatever soothes you in your mind and your heart and your soul and brings you to that balance and that's what's trying to happen right now with this planet because we are ascending to another level a higher level of consciousness and everything has to go along with it if not there will be war there's pandemics there's you know, just wherever you want to, if you want to know where there is cleansing happening on Gaia, watch the weather and follow the trail of sadness. <clears throat> That's how you know. And there are other things, there are more positive things that happen. But those positive things that happen are to help those things that are not so positive. That is that circle. That is the infinity loop. You know, you get me? There has to be a balance. There has to be a balance. There has to be a um, an action and a reaction and an action and a reaction. But through what level of unity consciousness is that going to be in? We all chose to be here at every point in time, every point of linear history. Those in the human experience at that present time chose to be there to help the enlightenment somehow, some innovative way through technology, <clears throat> through medical discoveries, through um, holistic medicine. However, and you're channeling it. You're channeling that information. We're channeling this information as we are receiving these downloads that we are being blasted with. <clears throat> so take it or leave it, honey. That's up to you. We are still in blackout. I'll make a post of the photos of the Schumann Resonance. I'd love to hear from you and see how you're feeling through it. And please appreciate those around you that are here with the, the life purpose the sole purpose of being guides for you, showing up for you. Appreciate them because they're going through it just like you are, just like you are. All right, I hope everyone has a blessed evening and the evening where I'm at. And I will talk to you again later. See you later, honey.